In this video, you will learn how to enable GZIP compression in WordPress. So what is GZIP compression? GZIP is a file compressing software which helps to reduce the size of a web page before it's served to a client, a browser. Essentially, GZIP works by breaking up heavy HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files into smaller bits, thus reducing the time it will take a browser to load them. It doesn't work on images. To learn about images, please read our image optimization guide. The technology isn't exclusive to WordPress. It works on virtually any website with a web server. So whether your website runs on WordPress, Magento, Drupal, etc., you can enable gzip compression on it. How it works. When developers write the codes for a website, they add white spaces, comments, page breaks, etc. so as to make it easy for the human eyes to follow. The problem is, this formatting takes up space and can significantly add to the size of a web page. What gzip does is to take away this formatting, because to the browsers, it means nothing. The end result is that it compresses web pages by as much as 80%. Like earlier said, all modern browsers support gzip, so you don't have to worry about compatibility problems. Before I show you how to enable gzip compression on your WordPress website, let me first show you two ways to check if gzip compression is enabled on WordPress. So number one is using Varvi tool. There are several online checking tools you could use, but for this tutorial, we will be using a Varvi tool called gzip compression testing tool. I put a link to this tool on the description below if you want quick access to this tool. But let me show you how to go to this tool. Go to google.com. On the search bar type Varvi gzip compression. Click search. Click this one. Now the reason why we try to access this tool using Google is because if you go to varvi.com website directly, you will not find this tool. The reason to that is they have stopped the use of some of their Varvi tools. And that includes the Varvi gzip compression test tool. But it's still working fine. Alright, so just copy and paste your URL to this text box right here and then click test. And the rest is taken care of. If the file compression isn't active on your website, it tells you instantly. If gzip compression is enabled on your WordPress website, it will give you a breakdown analysis of your website. It's that easy. Alright. So number two is using Google Chrome's developer tool. So open your website in Chrome and open developer tools with the keyboard shortcut Control shift i For Mac, it's Command shift i In developer tools, click on the network tab. Next, reload the page. After the reload, scroll up in the developer tools section until you find your website's URL at the left column. Click on the URL once and switch to the headers tab if you are in a different one. Then scroll down using the vertical slider in this section until you get to the response header section. If gzip is enabled, you will see content-encoding gzip. If it's not enabled, you will see content-encoding br. If it turns out file compressing isn't enabled on your website yet, that can easily be fixed. Alright, now that you know how to check if gzip compression is enabled on your website, I will now show you how to enable them. Enabling gzip isn't as hard as it might seem at the surface. There are a couple of ways to go about it, but we will be considering just three, starting from the easiest. The first method is to contact your web host provider. Gzip is a technology that works on the server side, and as such, your web host provider is in the best position to help you out with it. So reach out. Usually, hosting providers do this from their own end without you having to click a button. However, in some cases, they will provide instructions. It all depends on the provider, but by all means, reach out. Note that we recommend having your hosts enable this feature. Other solutions should only be used if there are issues with this method. Method 2 is to use a plugin. In WordPress, besides gzip compression, there's a plugin for virtually every task. Here are a couple of plugins that finish the job. The first one is WP Super Cache. WP Super Cache, though primarily a caching plugin, also does a good job at compressing web files. To install this plugin, on your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, then New Plugins. Search for WP Super Cache. 
install and activate the plugin. Next, navigate to Settings, WP Supercache. In the WP Supercache page, click the Advanced tab. Then check the compressed pages so they are served more quickly to visitors option. When you are done, scroll down and click Update Status. Number 2 is W3 Cache. W3 Cache is popular for its caching functionality. What you might not know is that with it, you can compress your web pages by as much as 80%. There's a video tutorial on WordPress directory page of W3 Cache you can follow to enable file compression. And I've also put a link to that video on the description below. So kindly check that out. Method 3 is to edit .ht access files. This technique is somewhat technical. And if you're not careful, you might break your website. Nonetheless, if you're confident with your abilities, by all means, give it a shot. To start, access your site using FTP. If this is your first time using an FTP account, I put a link on how to create an FTP account on the description below. Alright, let's continue. Once a connection has been established, look for the public HTML folder. Then scroll down and look for the .htaccess file. Right click on the file, then click the View Edit option. Copy and paste the following lines of code into the bottom section of the Notepad editor. When you are done pasting, save the file by hitting Ctrl S in Windows or Command plus S for Mac. Alright. Just click Yes. Now what you need to do now is try to check if gzip compression is enabled on your website. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.